Hi everyone. There's something I find that people will do when they have a, an injury, especially an injury that seems maybe threatening to them. Maybe a neck injury with radiating pain down the arm, back injury, they're stopping them doing a lot of things um, and it's quite worrying for them. What they tend to do is to do nothing and uh, until the date of the scan. So usually people want to get a scan to see what's going on and for a lot of time for a lot of people and a lot of conditions it is useful to get a scan. It may not be the answer to why you have the pain. Um, that That's a definite fact. Um, uh, but what people will do is like hey I've got my scan scheduled for two weeks time or or a, a month time or whatever and, um, and I find that they do nothing with the idea that I want to make this problem as worse as possible to show truly what kind of issue is there that's something i i see quite a lot and it's a very subconscious thing and it is dumb it is really dumb do you really want to make that worse in two weeks or a month's time that maybe it's beyond a point where it can actually repair back to being of a decent level it's just really dumb um, if the problem is going to be a massive thing that stays with you it'll be there in a month anyway still do the things you need to do so the exercise the physio gives you get regular soft tissue work, acupuncture, um, dry needling, um, taping methods, whatever you need to do, stretches to open up the joint, all that sort of stuff. Uh, neural mobs, there's a lot of things that can be done. There's only a certain number of tissues that will be causing pain in your body. Um, so the idea of doing exercises and getting treatment is to affect those tissues that are causing the issue. Why not make the problem as good as you can then you have the scan and see what's left um, because in the end once you get the scan done you're either going to continue on facility management which is pretty much physio exercise um, that realm or you're going to go get surgery and it's a matter of um, uh, particularly lower backs there's not many times where you're actually surgery is warranted uh, immediately there's only one or two cases and that's to do with your bladder uh, or your bowels not functioning at all or um, uh, pins and needles in the inner thigh which is affecting the bladder so it's got to be treated within a few hours um, otherwise there's permanent damage in the bladder and the bowel uh, but yeah there's a lot of surgeons will uh, they won't they won't um, do surgery where they'll give the option that this could be uh, this could get worse this could stay the same or this could get better but once you're cut into fascia cut into muscle um, cut into tendon particularly the fascia it doesn't the tissue doesn't work as well as it used to. Its potential to heal isn't as good. And um, that's something that we see. So after me treating 10,000 people, um, that's still nothing compared to the people I work with. Um, yeah, um, tr make, your, make your problem, make the pain you have as good as you can. Do the bloody exercises and don't try to make it as worse as you can to just see what kind of problem is actually there. Uh, it's really dumb. Um, I hope that helps you.